So uh, I thought we would spend a little bit of time. Uh, we talk about a, a particular game series quite a bit on this show, video game series for that matter. And uh, oh, you we, mean that you mean that you mean that AC? Yes, sir. That AC, if you will. We we talk about it a lot, and I thought it would be uh, a fun task, if you will, for us to uh, take a look. And at the Assassin's Creed major games, the main right. series, okay. not not the little one-offs here or there, um, and kind of uh, recount uh, the games, uh, some maybe some memories, but also rank them. Bayek, I'm just kidding. I, uh, <laughs> and I have <laughs> given more. I have given you zero time to prep on this. Yeah, I know. Um, wow, that's a, goodness. That's a lot of games. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so of the major story, uh, you've got, uh, we'll just call them out here. We've got Assassin's Creed, Assassin's Creed 2, Assassin's Creed Brotherhood. I'm going to stop saying Assassin's Creed. Yeah, so then Revelations. Re three. Three. Three Liberation. Uh, no. It no. is considered part of the major series. No, I'm saying it, it wasn't three. It was just, it wasn't three. It was just. Uh, it was considered an extension of three. Oh, I just heard, I just. Because I only knew it, I only saw it on there as Liberation, not three. But okay, uh, four Black Flag. Yes, and then Rogue. we move on to Rogue Unity. Uh, then you got Syndicate, Origins, Odyssey, and the most recent and still ongoing <laughs> Valhalla. <laughs> Yeah, so part of the reason we're also talking about this is that uh, Ubisoft uh, and Assassin's Creed are celebrating 15 years of Assassin's Creed this year. So uh, a lot of cool little Easter eggs are happening. Uh, some of these older games, and by older I mean Origins and Odyssey, they're seeing potentially a, a little random update here and there. Yeah. And in Valhalla, we're still seeing a lot of new content coming. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> Yeah. And and what was really cool was a recent update that in for Valhalla that included a crossover with uh, Cassandra from Odyssey. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, that that was pretty 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 cool. Um so I, I obviously on the on the screen if you're watching live with us, we've got who the historical character was in the game, uh the period and era that it took place, and then who the present day character was. And so for those of you that don't know the Assassin's Creed series, the, the basic premise is here in present day, there is an ongoing war between uh two groups, uh the, the Templars and the Assassins. Right. Um and uh, there is a machine that has been developed called the Animus, which allows people to live out their ancestors' memories. Yeah, so they basically use your blood and track it back to an ancestor who was, well, in most cases, was an assassin. <laughs> well, and what's really cool is that the the concept comes from you know, look at birds. How do birds just instinctually know to migrate to a specific place? Right. How do certain species of like turtles, for example, know how to get back to the place that they were born to then reproduce Later, right. there? Yeah. Uh, and, and so the premise is that we humans have those memories and everything locked into us as well uh, yeah. up to the moment of our conception so for example uh james would have the memories of his mother and father within him up to the point of his conception right and and going back obviously going further from back there. yeah yeah and so for example we we have the main uh present day character in the first uh five games yeah uh, Desmond Miles. Desmond Miles. He, legitimate. He gets to live out the memories of multiple ancestors yeah. uh, that, that are from his lineage. Uh, some going back as far as the Third Crusade with Altair. Uh, then you've got the Italian Renaissance period. Uh, with some of the greatest games. Ezio Aldatore de Firenze. <laughs> and then he also lives out some of the memories of Haytham and Conway, Kenner, Connor Kenway during yeah. the uh, French Indian War and American Revolution. Yeah. And uh, 
conceptually, I, this story hit me from day one because it's like I've always personally thought there there has to be within us to a degree those things, right? And I've also always been one of those people that kind of thinks about, you know, living, reliving past lives or, you know, oh, yeah. those kinds of things. And, and so it really caught me. The story caught me from day one. And the one thing that's always impressed me about Ubisoft with this game series is how accurate they are with history. Um, oh, they, you they know, oh, they, they do, they do major <laughs> research to make sure that, um, that the historical moments, the historical uh, characters are are legit. Yeah, it, obviously it's fiction, but it is yeah. so well blended with actual historical facts. I mean, yeah. there's a there's a part in Assassin's Creed Two where you learn about uh, the JFK assassination, or you learn about the the Tesla experiments and and how yeah he, he was the whole reason that he was like rolled under the bus for an explosion was so that uh, Americans could make money uh, off of electricity, even though it could be harnessed for free for, for free. nature. Yeah. And yeah. some of this so, is absolutely true. Yeah. Uh, and, like and how so, he got, he got mess basically Edison, Edison screwed him over. <laughs> yeah. And, and then mind blown even more in Assassin's Creed 2 or Brotherhood, I can't remember which one, where we actually see memories and images of Adam, Adam and Eve. Eve. Bro, that was the most mind-blowing thing ever. Oh, my God. Yeah. We got Steven checking in. What's good, fellas? Hope all is well. I haven't played any of the Assassin's Creed since the Desmond Miles games, only because it occupies so much time. Great games, though. Yeah. Uh, I, I don't disagree. The, the games no. are massive. I mean, you play this game and you're probably pot committed for a minimum of around 60 hours and significantly more if you're a player like James. So, uh, and I even have been known to spend easily 100 hours on some of these games. Yeah. And they've only gotten bigger since yeah. the Desmond games. I mean, when you look at Assassin's Creed through Assassin's Creed 3, uh, those games were huge and and time intensive themselves, but then you get to the most recent three with Odyssey or Origins and Valhalla, oh my and God. they're just so big in scope and and so yeah. much to do. Yeah, um, that's that's another thing. Is there's so much to do. Uh, I mean, that's man. I'll tell you right now, those the the uh, the uh, sync points are so needed. Especially when you get into like, uh, like Origins, Odyssey, and and Valhalla, it's like you need those those <laughs> sync points because it would take you forever to get to some of those places. <laughs> yeah one one of the good things that they always made sure of was that you did have a horse going all the way back to Assassin's Creed, the first one, because yeah. if you had to get around on even that on map, foot, yeah, that golly. oh, whew, nope. And the horses have gotten better, luckily. Actually, I, I think with actually it was with um, no, I, th uh, did it, I don't remember it being in Odyssey, but I know for sure in Valhalla, the horses being able to swim has been a super help. And uh, Stephen asks, which don't answer this yet, which non Desmond Miles game is your favorite Assassin's Creed? And we'll answer that in just oh, a moment yeah. because my favorite non Desmond Miles Assassin's Creed game is my favorite Assassin's Creed game. So I don't want to say that just yet. Okay. So we'll wait. Uh, yeah. Uh, okay. If your favorite is not, uh, you know, if you are if you can't answer that without giving away your top game, then please go ahead. Oh. If, you're, uh, if your top game is a Desmond Miles game, then cool. But go ahead and... Oh, no. No. I mean... Okay. I think you and I are probably going to be on the same page when it comes to the best, uh, but we'll see. I'm not yeah. sure. Uh, yeah. So, so with that being said, shall shall we get into ranking? Uh, you know what? I'm 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 good with that. Let's go ahead and get into the rankings. Okay. So uh, let's let's go ahead and and start from if you will, uh, and I'm moving over to an Excel doc. Uh, just to make it easy so that we can rank them and make sure we're crossing them off so that we 
don't have to try and remember. <laughs> so we've got 13 games to rank, James. So for All you, right. what game comes in at number 13? Man. Um, I'm probably going to have to go with, I think, Liberation probably would be number 13. Okay. And as a matter of fact, that would actually be mine. Not a bad game. No, too small. It, too small yeah, in size it's, and scope. It was, and I mean, you know, it was, it was for, it was for PSP originally. Yeah. So, I mean, it, it couldn't be, it couldn't be like huge. Yeah. How about number twelve for me? I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to go with Rogue. Uh, similarly, it was for the previous generation console once Xbox One and PS4 came out. Um, and it kind of, to me, just deviated too much from Assassin's Creed. You were playing primarily as a Templar. And um, I just felt like when we're ranking them, I, I really got to put that one down low due to it not really following that formula, if you will. Um, actually, you know, I, I, the only thing I, I, I kind of disagree, I think it was interesting to see it from, uh, to play it as the you start off as an assassin and then basically become... Uh, disenchanted with with the assassins and end up joining uh, hunting the uh, hunting the uh, assassins. So um, I won't. I, I don't. I don't know. I I I really I enjoyed Rogue, um, but for me, um, number twelve is probably going to be Unity. Okay. What do you got at eleven then? Um, eleven. 11 probably gonna go with syndicate really okay i like now don't get me wrong i enjoyed syndicate and um the dlc the jack the ripper story was crazy good i that's one of the main reasons that's one of the main reasons i got the uh i i i got the the um pass for it was because i wanted to play that jack the ripper storyline and it was it was definitely well worth it okay for me at 11 i am going to go with uh what was i gonna go with hold on unity <laughs> and at 10 i'm going to go with assassin's creed okay while it introduced the game and, and the story and everything, um, there were a lot of things lacking from a gameplay standpoint. It was very clunky. It was very hard to maneuver. Uh, and you couldn't go in the water. Yeah. Yeah. That was irritating. So, yeah. And if that's the case, don't don't let there be water. Uh, yeah. Instant desync. <laughs> very frustrating. Yeah. It, was, it was like, he can't swim? Like... I'm sorry. You dive off of uh, you dive off of scaffolding into hay bales, and you can't swim. Yeah. Okay. Um, so yeah, for me, uh, what number are we? I don't even remember where we're at right now. So we did uh, a. You are on ten, sir. Okay. So number ten for me would probably be uh, that would probably be Rogue. Okay. While I did like Rogue, the one thing that's actually really really crazy about it was that i played unity before i played rogue which i didn't realize because um i had i had to basically jump back to my ps3 i think it was to play rogue and but if i had known i would have definitely played rogue before unity because rogue actually introduces unity yeah and ubisoft failed to ever say that frankly. yeah they never they never said anything about it they came out around the same time um, but yeah, they never said, oh, you know, like, no, what no, order? they literally came out at the same time. Oh, they, yeah, that's what I'm saying. Like, they, one yeah, was they for the old gen and one was for the new gen. Right. And then, so, I mean, I remember getting both, but I got unity first and then I was, and then I got, I got rogue cause it was on sale somewhere and I played, I played through unity and then I played through rogue and I was like, oh, son of a B. If I'd only known, I would have played rogue first. Mm hmm Okay, but anyways, um, and then that brings us to, oh, we lost the, <laughs> we went to another chart. Yeah, I don't know what I did. Hold up. My apologies. Here oh, we good. go. 
All right. So uh, I'm sorry. You were at number nine. Number nine. I'm going to go with the original. Okay. Fair enough. Uh, for my number nine, I am going to go ahead and go with Revelations. Uh, it was the, the interesting thing about Revelations is it was the uh, final tie-up of the Ezio Auditore trilogy, uh, it, as well as it was a tie-up for Altair. Um, yeah. and, and so it was nice to get closure on both of those characters, but it felt rushed. It felt uh, small in scope uh, and kind of a disappointing way to end uh our yeah. interactions with those two characters. Yeah, they scaled that down. They scaled that one down quite a bit, it feels like. Um, yeah, it, it definitely was not a, a an originally planned game. It, you could tell, uh, that, you know, yeah, because of the just... success of Assassin's Creed 2, <clears throat> it was like, oh, crap, let's let's get something more. Um, and I, I kind of wish they hadn't done that. Uh, yeah, I mean, I, I don't get me wrong. I, I absolutely... Uh, Love the Ezio series, but yeah, I, I I have I agree with you. Revelations, uh, not not the uh, the strongest, um, not the strongest of that series. Yeah. Uh, so in at number eight for me, I'm going with the current Assassin's Creed Valhalla. Okay. okay. Uh, a very enjoyable game. Don't get me wrong, um, but. It, it unfortunately it it just felt um too forced in brutality not enough stealth like like what you would expect from an assassin's creed game um and it got frankly too repetitive uh in, in the different gameplay modes if you will um, I feel and, you. It, and just the storyline itself didn't feel really well fleshed out uh yeah no there's 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 definitely been yeah it i i enjoy it don't get me wrong i enjoy it but definitely it's i i understand i understand where you're coming from um so for me i would have to go uh in at number eight i'd have to agree with you um on the on the revelations for me okay number seven uh number seven. <sighs> oh man this is getting this is getting tough um number seven while you're thinking about that steven yeah. calls out that uh early spider-man games spidey he couldn't swim even the current spider-man games he can't really swim um <laughs> it's so it's yeah yeah i don't know it's and uh, Tyrus clears his throat and calls out God of War is better. Mm. Uh, they have a number of games, but I don't know as far as a, like as a, as far as like a uh, a series like a a, a a long running series. I don't I don't know, man. I mean, don't get me wrong. I enjoy God of War, but I really don't. I don't know because I mean, I remember I was introduced to this game by Mark when we lived together, and I remember playing through the first one. And then I started the second one and was getting th through it before we moved out. So, <laughs> so but um, let's see. Uh, where am I? Number seven? seven. <sighs> Number seven. Yeah, I, I, I might have to agree with you, too, on, on, the, on the Valhalla. It's, don't get me wrong, it's a very good game. But it is, yeah, like you said, it, it's very repetitive um in, in a lot of cases i do like i mean some of the stories um because i have i you know i have the um i have the dlc for pretty much all the dlc for it um so that's been that's been very fun like the ireland and the um you know the ireland missions and all that kind of stuff but yeah overall and they're still coming out with stuff for it which you know continues to have some gameplay so but um yeah for me, at number seven, I'm going to finally come in line with you on the uh, Assassin's Creed Syndicate. Uh, uh, the reason I'm ranking this one four spots higher than you is I just, I really love the time period of the Second Industrial Revolution and the World War I aspect. Um, there were some weird things with the game and how it glitched into the Helix, um, it, but it was nice to play as 
fully as, as two unique characters that really had different gaming styles mm -hmm. one more aggressive one more stealth mm -hmm. um you know yeah you didn't really have the option uh throughout the entire game to 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 pick like there were certain missions that you had to do as x and yet the other you had to do as y and uh but i think it was a lot of fun um and, and especially on the heels of assassin's creed unity that was such a big letdown um especially being the first in the next gen series if you will mm -hmm. Uh, I think Syndicate was, was much, much better than Unity. I really liked the train in Syndicate, though. That was fun. <laughs> like, the battles for the control over the areas. Mm -hmm. <laughs> the gang wars. That was a lot of... Oh, and the fight clubs. The fight clubs in, in Syndicate were great fun. Yeah. Especially, Next like, when you have Eevee going up against these big dudes, which was great. Next up for me at six, um, and a lot of people rank this game a lot lower. And I'll tell you, I went back and I replayed it not that long ago. And I think it's a better game than people gave it credit for. It had a ton of problems at the time. Mm -hmm. uh, and, and so I think maybe that's part of why people don't look back on it fondly. But uh, I, I think for me, it, it's not going to get into the top five, but in it, number six, Assassin's Creed 3, uh, taking place during the French and Indian War into the American Revolution. Ooh, uh, yeah. I love the history of the game because I yeah. love the American history there. Uh, uh, I did not like that it was the finale for Desmond Miles. Uh, and yeah. and I, I was really disappointed, I think, with that ending, so to speak. But... Like I said, I think that game deserves more credit than it gets. A lot of people rank that game in the bottom two or three. Oh, hell no. That new, no, new, no, new, no, new. No. I mean, hell, just the cover art alone <laughs> would put it up. Um, but no, that's that, that story. It threw me because I was expecting, um, because, you know, from what I had seen, it was from, you know, the American Revolution. But when um but when you start playing it you start playing as this other character and you're like wait what the hell and so but it it definitely rolls in very well um so uh i am at number six now mm -hmm. numbers yeah can we zoom in a little bit because <laughs> um number six for me let's see <laughs> man i'm probably gonna go yeah i'm gonna i'll agree with you on that i'll agree with you on three i'll agree with you okay that was a good one. and uh what are you gonna go with then for number five and while you're debating that uh we've got uh God of War has six games, and the latest is completely different. Okay. Good good on you. I believe well, God of War has been around just as long as Assassin's Creed. and uh, I think maybe even a little bit. Uh, as, might be a little bit longer. Has nowhere close to the level of following, and obviously not the same size and scope of uh, Assassin's Creed. So <laughs> just, just saying. Uh, Brian says... Such great pod. I'm not sure how to take that. I, I'm thinking he's probably being sarcastic because he's probably not an Assassin's Creed fan. Yeah, well, you know. That's okay. Be, yeah. Number five, um, James. Okay, number five. Number five, uh, I'm going to go into... Whew, man. Uh, number five, I think I'm going to go with Brotherhood. Okay. Uh, Brotherhood was that uh, it was the thing that irritated me with Brotherhood was that you're you're just you get hurt and then you have to relearn all this stuff again. It's like, yo, I already oh, I just had all this stuff in the last game. Um, but yeah. Yeah. And uh, oh, thank you, Brian, for for pointing out specifically what you mean about 
James's thought process and how long it takes him to think. Uh, yeah, it, it is frustrating. But to be fair, I did not give him any time to prep on this. Um, so uh, so James at number five with Brotherhood. I, I, I quite enjoyed Brotherhood. Um, yeah. I, I'm not, I'm not going to say that it's my number five yet. Uh, but I will say I felt that between two and brotherhood it really locked me into this game series uh because i'll tell you this much if they hadn't been as good as they were by the time i got to revelations i might have given up but because of how good two and brotherhood really were from a, a storytelling standpoint yeah um it made me accept revelations for what it was and still decide to keep going with the game series yeah <laughs> Yeah, I mean, it's been funny because, like, I've been uh, – there's there's a page on Facebook that I followed that's, you know, kind of has Assassin's Creed based. And, like, these people are getting on, and they're like, oh, I started with Origins. What should I – I'm like, what? What You started with Origins? No. Like, I mean, I I'm guess, okay with that because – I that's... guess you could, but at the same time, I'm like, you got to – like, you got to start – you almost have to go from the beginning and just kind of play play your way through. Yeah, I'm okay with Origins. I mean, Ubisoft did even say like they they intentionally made that game in a way where you could come into the series at that point. And yeah, you'd be missing out on some stuff. You might not get some of the references. Yeah. Um. Uh, but yeah, I, I I would say if you came in at Origins, you loved it. You need to go back. Yeah. Because otherwise, you're missing out on a, so much past content uh yeah, so for me yeah. uh tyrus again greatness takes time to make and it is an exclusive for playstation That's versus true. assassin's creed is multi-platform numbers don't count when god of war is constantly beating it in awards I mean, I, I don't know about you, James, but I've watched the Oscars many times and there are films winning Best Oscar and I'm like, what is this piece of garbage? Yeah, no, I agree with you on that. Or like, so, how many people saw this? Like, look, don't get me wrong. Like, have, have you, I mean, God of War, God of War is a, is excellent games. Like I've, the, I haven't played the more recent ones because, but um, they're very good games. And I will take nothing away from those, but just in the size of the scope, um, the, the, um, just the, the content that they've wrapped around it, just the history, historical content that they've wrapped around it in, in, in a game, it's, it's uh, not matched. There's no other game that has matched it in, in, in my opinion. So for me coming in at number five, Assassin's Creed 2. Okay. Okay. And coming in at number four, Assassin's Creed Brotherhood. All right. Yeah, because I was gonna put actually I was gonna put uh uh I was gonna put Brotherhood or I was gonna put um Assassin's Creed 2 at number four for me. All right. And what do you got at three? Number three, I'm going with uh Odyssey. Now, if you have not played some of the uh, the DLC content for Odyssey, do so because um, the the uh, storyline of the I guess it's the first Blade or something like that um, with Alexios and him having a child. That one is a great connection. Just trust me. If you haven't played, did you play that one? Oh yeah, oh yeah, oh yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, yeah, great, 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 uh, great game. Uh, obviously, there's a reason uh, it's in the top three, right? Yeah, yeah. Um, I mean, that was the first one. That was one of the first ones that I had actually got. Uh, you know, I really got the DLC for. Um, I mean, like that was because I got it for. I got it for. Um, the syndicate because of the jack the ripper storyline but this is the one that i got and i was like yo i am so glad i got all this dlc for this game yeah for me coming in at number three is actually going to be origins okay. uh i i enjoyed it i love egyptian history um yeah. and it was an absolutely uh amazing game um 
but when we're where we are, which is we're into the top three, um, I, I felt like it's, it's not my one or two. It's, it's close, but it's not yeah. my one or two. And actually, you know, the one thing I really liked about Odyssey was the, um, which continued from, from origins was the, uh, being able to train animals to help you out in battle. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. That, that was cool conceptually. Uh, yeah. and, and, you know, adding in some of those RPG mechanics, uh, to, to level up different things, yeah. uh, was, I'll admit initially I was frustrated when they announced that, that kind of change and I was not looking forward to it but I've come to actually really like it. Uh, yeah. And so uh, Tyra says world of Warcraft trumps them all. I don't mm. agree. Uh, I never, cause I never, I never got into it. Yeah, I, I did. I played world of Warcraft for a long time uh, and I very much enjoyed it, but uh, I don't think it's comparable. Uh, it's an it's, MMO yeah. where you're forced to have to play with online people. If you want to achieve certain things and get to a certain level where, with this game series, you can play by yourself. Uh, I think the, the only way. one, I think Syndicate was the only, or yeah, no, not Syndicate. Um, uh, Unity was the only one that had a multiplayer mode, wasn't it? Uh, nope. Oh. Brotherhood had multiplayer, Revelations uh, had br uh, multiplayer, uh, Three had a multiplayer. Oh, I, I just remember, I remember that being the one of the key sell trying to be one of the key selling points of unity. But anyways, um, but those were, those were pretty much like death matches. Like, yeah, you know, you're just walking through a town trying to find the other assassins or whatever and kill them. Yeah. Uh, so we're in the top two. And so I figure rather than give me your number two, James, what's your number one? Oh, uh, well, the only reason I want to give you my number two is because, um, Bayek might be one of my favorite assassins. And um, I really, I really enjoyed his story. Um, but yeah, um, yeah. Number one, it just hands down, Black Flag. I mean, I, I don't, I don't know how you could rank that anywhere else. Black Flag was one of those games where I played it, and I was super frustrated at the beginning because the ship, just the ship mechanics, I didn't, I didn't get it, um, and that frustrated me. But once I actually got it and um you know just the basically taking over you know you could either take over another like once you finally got to the big battles and you could either take over another ship and use it uh use it for your um your supply missions you know getting your goods or you could um you basically started uh the the uh, mega ship wars which were <laughs> crazy uh, it was such a great game. I mean, just overall, the, the oh my goodness. And it was the first really huge game. It was the first of the really huge games. And it, oh my goodness. I I mean, just hands down for me. It's just that that was, that's the one, that's the one game. Like I had played, I had played everything else. Um, and I when I got to that one and that one for sure locked me into the series. And uh, we shall agree. Uh, number one is uh, got to be Black Flag. Tyrus uh, is will... talking over here, talking garbage. Yeah, it was a shocker. Uh, <laughs> he just has to be a contrarian. Um, and let's give him his duke. Let him have his moment. Uh, Black Flag was a dumpster fire, and I haven't played AC since. It just takes up space on my computer. AC2 was the best, and I'm sticking to it. Uh, well, if you haven't played anything since then, uh, yeah. then you don't yeah. you don't really have the right to say that AC two was the best. You could say AC two was the best out of what you played. <laughs> what you played, yeah. Um, but uh, I, I, if you think Black Flag was a dumpster fire, I can't help you. Um, yeah, I, I mean, I think Black Flag just was man. I, I don't know. Like I said, it was that's the game that really locked me in. That's the game that has lo that locked me in. So interesting that we uh, we both ranked our number one, six, and thirteen in the same spots. Everything else a uh, little bit different. And so, uh, just giving the average rundown uh, for those of you that uh, 
purely want to play a game just for fun, you don't care about storyline or, or order, uh, if you wanted to play in our favorite order, it would be Assassin's Creed 4, Black Flag, Origins, Odyssey, 2, Brotherhood, 3, Valhalla, Revelations, Syndicate, the original, Rogue, Unity, and Liberation. <laughs> yeah. So, I mean, the main thing is that, yeah, if you if you don't care, fine. But if you do, uh, I mean, if, if you don't want to go back to old consoles or you may not have an old console, then I would definitely, I guess, Origins is a great place to start. And, you know. Yeah, so uh, I I love Assassin's Creed. I'm excited. You know, they're 15 years. I'm excited for them to, to get another 15 more. Um, they they have a uh, lifelong fan, if you will, in me. Somebody that's willing to uh, fork over the bucks. <laughs> yeah. So I mean, and like and then like just I've we're waiting, but you know, like you know, because I keep hearing about uh, Infinite which or infinity which is supposed to be a, a bunch of different stuff and there's been you know like we, mark and i were talking about it earlier and there's been talk about world war one there's been talk about japan but apparently like feudal japan has been in the talk since the beginning so you know whatever comes next i'm all for it i've even played you played the side scrollers ones right the chronicles oh yeah oh yeah yeah i, yeah, I mean i've those were those were those were actually quite frustrating just because they were side scrollers, but with like some weird 3D uh, formats to it. But overall, I enjoyed those as well. But um, but yeah, no, I, I I'm I'm just excited to see where it goes. And actually, um, I'm I've posted on the their their um, Twitter page about their symphony because it's only been in France or it was going to France and then it got canceled because of covid and then uh apparently it's back now and i'm like yo is this coming to the u.s because <laughs> i need it to come here because yeah, i'm the, not the going score, to france the to score in a lot of these games is amazing oh my uh, gosh and all of them are good but some of them are amazing yeah yeah i mean like just the oh man i oh as, I mean, especially during the Italian Renaissance, yo, I think for me, that's one of the best sound. I mean, best soundtracks. Yeah. Brian asked, why save the worst for last? Well, you don't have to. Uh, I guess you could play it first and get it out of the way. Yeah. Um, absolutely. And uh, Stephen claims that he's going to invest in a PSP tomorrow. Well, I've got good news for you, Stephen. You don't have to get a PSP to play Liberations. It's also yeah. available in modern uh, on the Xbox one and on uh the ps4 so if you if you don't want to invest in a psp you could just get the game on one of those platforms yeah. or pc because psp is basically obsolete now isn't it uh i think just about anything disc based is pretty close to obsolete yeah um, i mean i think i think they had i remember they had um I, oh no it's maybe the vita that had the the continuation play so you you didn't have to play at home you could but some of these games like playing on a small screen like that yeah i don't know yeah <laughs> i don't really know yeah i'm good i yeah. i'm i'm good 